What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about copper tubing and how to use various fittings. So compression fittings and how to use the uh, rings that come with some of these fittings as well. Uh, they're actually called gland rings. So let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to use in this video is a pipe cutting tool. So just like this. A flaring kit, which is this part here that comes with this bracket here. It fits various pipe sizes, as you can see. We're gonna use the uh, quarter inch, uh, the quarter inch size, which is this guy right here. Some Teflon tape, help reduce some leaks. Pipe wrench, our quarter inch copper tubing, and our regulator, which is what we're gonna come attach the uh, copper piping to, right here. So we're gonna start off with the flaring tool. Uh, here's our quarter inch copper piping. So as you can see, the end is nice and flush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our flaring tool right here. Make sure it's sized up to your uh, pipe size. So we're gonna use the quarter inch right here. The purpose of this tool is to crimp the copper piping. So these are not threads, these are just for grip. So as you can see, it's all ribbed here. It's just to hold the piping in place. So let's put this guy on and make sure we have a little bit of piping sticking out the other end, which will become our flare. So let's get to it. So you want to make sure it's nice and tight that this pipe here will not move anywhere. As you can see, uh, we did leave a little bit of the pipe sticking out and which will become our flare end. So we're going to use this guy here. Make sure you unscrew it so this, uh, this penetrator here goes all the way up. When you're ready, just fit it on like so and then twist it. It should be locked in at this point so it shouldn't come out. And then we're going to line up the tip here and screw it in so this black tip here goes right into the pipe. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so the tip is in the pipe and we do feel a lot of pressure. So now we're just going to tighten it. Copper is very soft. So just use a bit of strength, twist that in there and you'll see the pipe starting to flare. Just like that. So once it's flared up, just unscrew everything, take it apart. And there you have it. Your copper pipe is now flared. I use this just as an example, but before you flare your pipe, put your fitting on it if it's that type of fitting. So I forgot to put the fitting here just for demonstration purposes. So let's say you did forget to put the fitting on and you have to cut it. Well, that's where this cutter comes into play. So as you can see, it's a 1 8 of an inch all the way up to a 5 8 So this is a small one. And we're going to put our pipe right between these two metal wheels here. So we're going to open it up. Fit it on there. I'm going to try and show the camera here. So the way this works is there's a blade. You can see the shiny blade up here. And we're just going to come and tighten it until it starts cutting the copper pipe and we're just going to do circles. That's why it's important to have the pipe on those two metal wheels because it's going to keep it nice and aligned. All right, so we're going to tighten it up and we're going to start turning just like this. Tighten it up a little bit more. Keep turning so it's actually cutting the, the, the tubing right now. Tighten it a little more and there we go. And there we go. Just like that, our tubing is cut. And as you can see, it is nice and flush at the end. So very handy tool. If you have a fitting with one of those rings, let me show you how that works. It's actually very simple because that ring is actually gonna come and compress onto the fitting. So this is an oil stove regulator. I already put the fitting into the regulator, but this guy here, I'm just gonna unscrew it and you'll see a little ring come out of it. So this here is a ring. What we're going to do with this ring is we're going to fit it onto the pipe 
And when we tighten the fitting, this ring here is going to compress and actually stay onto the copper pipe. So let me show you after we install it. I'm going to take it apart and you'll see this ring will, we won't even be able to take it off anymore. Okay, so I'm going to show you fitting now with one of these rings here. It actually saves us from uh, flaring the end of the copper pipe because the fitting is going to do that job for us. Once we tighten it, this ring is going to compress the copper pipe, making a nice tight seal. So let me show you. First of all, we want to put the end of the fitting onto the pipe right here. So don't forget this part. Slide it on just like that. It should be nice and flush. After that, you want to come and put your ring on the end. All right, so it's nice and snug onto there so we can move it back and forth. Uh, that is normal. All right. So we got the ring on here. And we have this loose piece right here. What we're gonna do now is tighten everything up. So as you can see, it fits in here. We're gonna come and tighten it up right here. All right. And at this part, we're gonna use our pipe wrench to tighten everything to make sure it's snug. Okay, so now everything is snug. I'm going to take this apart and show you how tight that little metal ring is onto the pipe, which creates our seal. So let me show you. We're going to take it apart. You can see that oil is just from the regulator. You can see the copper tubing is squeezed. That ring came to compress on it. So it's snug on there. We cannot take it off. When this fitting closes, it creates that nice tight gap with the other end of the fitting. You can see inside the fitting here where I'm pointing with my finger, it matches the curvature of this ring. And the same thing with the other end. So. This end right here, it's hard to see on camera, but it is curved to match this ring. So when we tighten everything together, it is nice and snug. And there we have it. Our copper pipe is installed in the regulator and we could go and connect the other end now to our little tank that we built. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get notified when I drop new videos. If you want to see anything specific, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video to show you how things work. See you later.